In this video, let us look at phosphatase test, guys. This is a check for uh, pasteurized milk, if milk is pasteurized or not. So basically, you have two uh, samples of milk here. One is the raw milk and the other is the pasteurized milk. Now you have to tell uh, whether uh, the milk is raw or pasteurized. So you have to do that. So what you are, what will you do? You will do some tests like phosphatase test and a lot of other tests are also there. So first, let us look at phosphatase test. Okay, phosphatase test, what happens? Uh, you are, uh, see raw milk, raw milk has phosphatase, it is an enzyme, right? So the raw milk has phosphatase, okay? Now when you pasteurize this milk, this phosphatase will go off. It is completely destroyed on uh, heating, right? So you know the pasteurization technique, there is Holder method, Flash method, so many methods are there. Pasteurization, basically you are heating milk and sudden cooling, etc. So basically heating will destroy this phosphatase enzyme, right? So pasteurized milk will not have phosphatase right this much you have understood guys so you have understood that who has the phosphatase enzyme the raw milk has the phosphatase enzyme and heating will destroy the phosphatase enzyme so obviously pasteurized milk will not have the phosphatase enzyme so here what will you do as a procedure exactly what you do in phosphatase test what and all you add you add disodium phenyl phosphate buffer okay so you will add what diphenyl phenyl phosphate buffer you will add it to the sample of milk and you will incubate then you will add the indicator indicator will be felins reagent reagent okay so basically felins reagent will be the indicator so what did you add to the milk to milk you added disodium phenyl phosphate buffer okay so then what will you do after some time you are adding the felins reagent okay so what happens this uh, disodium phenyl phosphatase buffer will be acted upon by this phosphatase enzyme phosphatase enzyme will go and act on this chemical that you have added so if phosphatase is en enzyme is present this enzyme will go and attack what this enzyme will go and attack this disodium phenyl phosphate buffer. This is going to attack that and it will release phenol. Okay. So it will release phenol. Now this phenol will combine with felling reagent to give you blue color. So did you understand this much? So let's write it again. So if phosphatase enzyme is present, it will attack this disodium phenyl phosphate buffer. So phosphatase will go and cut, cut, cut this thing right and it will release what it will release phenol now this felling reagent felling reagent will react with this phenol and give the blue color so who will give blue color raw milk will show blue color pasteurized milk will not show blue color okay so a positive test here means that a blue color has appeared and a blue color indicates that the milk is not pasteurized right or some raw milk has been added to this pasteurized milk can be that but some amount of raw milk is definitely present here okay so phosphatase test is used widely to check the efficiency of pasteurization so the same thing has been represented here so disodium uh, right disodium phenyl phosphate each person is saying one one is di okay then uh, incubate you will get blue color indicates raw milk some ready strips may be uh, available, you just have to dip it in that and you will know whether it is turning blue or otherwise. Yes, exact color and all, right? Each test will have a different indicator and all. So if whenever you are using these packs, you should see whether uh, blue or not blue or some other color. Okay, so specific, uh, so many systems are available to check the milk, right? So you will have to see what indicator these people have, okay? Generally, we have told you phosphatase test. So guys, in this video, we completed phosphatase test, okay, to check the efficiency of pasteurization. So uh, you are adding disodium phenyl phosphate buffer. Some books are saying sodium diphenyl phosphate buffer. Please just check that. Okay, then you are adding after some time to the milk, you are adding uh, felins reagent also. So raw milk will turn blue because it has phosphatase enzyme. Remember, it's the enzyme. Okay, so basically you are detecting this enzyme. So, uh, this is the basic concept. Lot of uh, strips are available which may give you different colors etc. Lot of machines are available also which have automated all this. So, this is phosphatase test. 
To check pasteurization of milk, you also have methylene blue reduction test. You can look at that one also, guys. So, please look at methylene blue reduction test also, which is an indicator for the microorganisms, okay. Here, um, we didn't check any microorganisms, etc. So, go and look at methylene blue reduction test also, okay. Bye-bye.